Slay or nay creed? Slay. Slay or nay creed? Slay. Slay or nay creed? Michael B. Jordan with his shirt off? Slay. Slay or nay creed? Um, I'd give it a... Um, a slay. I'd give it a, a, like a, like a slay too, cause like, you know. Slay or nay creed? Um, you guys might not like know this, but like, me and Michael B. Jordan used to have like a little thing, but like, we kept it private. We didn't want it all in the press, but like, we used to date, but then I broke up with him. But, yeah, we used to be together, but slay. Um, slay, that's my husband, actually, I don't know what she was talking off. about. Yeah. Slay. Oh, slay. Slay or nay creed? Slay! Slay or nay creed? Alright, so uh, basically, what I think that Creed is, I think that uh, Creed is obviously it has to like. There's no other like. There's no other like movie like Creed. Like you can like just whip out like your like. You can like right now. I'm literally gonna whip out like my like. So like basically, I think it's a slay. Slay or nay Creed. Alright, so like basically. So like basically, it was it was pretty good. So like probably a slay, cause like. Yeah, that's good. Slay or nay creed? Slay or nay creed. Definitely a slay. Slay or nay creed? I haven't seen it yet, but I'm gonna say slay because I love Michael B. Jordan. Slay or nay creed? Slay. It's definitely a slay because like, uh, like, like, I like, I like mostly like the girls in there, like. Slay or nay creed? Slay. <sighs> slay or nay creed? Slay. Slay. Slay or nay creed? Slay. Slay or nay creed? Uh, slatification, you feel me? Slay or nay creed? Slay. Slay. Alright, okay. Slay or nay creed? Uh, slay. Slay or nay creed? Slay. Slay or nay creed? Oh, oh, Slay, Slay or Nate Creed, uh, it's really cool, it taught me how to fight, but you talk down, here, you take it. Slay. Hi, Hawks, it's Angelia. And Tayson. We had a fun spirit week this week. There is also a school dance tomorrow. Don't forget, you either have to go to the dance or do your other activity. This Monday is the start of spring. Spring break starts the second week of April. We have some new segments coming out. The raffle winners this week for being respectful are Zachariah Lyons and Jaden Tesoro. For being responsible are An Andy Diaz and Brian Gimboa. For higher education, Nason Edgerlin Cody. Stay, Stay right, everyone. everyone. Hey Hawks, it's Andrew. I'm Caleb. And here's your new segment. It's another boring rink week in slow cow with the winter storms still keeping the coast rainy. Uh, down in Miami Beach, uh, there's a curfew for all like uh, the beaches and stuff like that because of two fatal shootings during the spring break celebrations. Um, and Paso Robles is being paid $10 million to build a water recycling facility. It is planned to be finished by the end of 2023. A U.S. aid worker, Jeffrey Woodkey, is released after being kidnapped for six years in this West African country in Niger. He was captured by unknown men back at, and held at gunpoint back in 2016. He had been working in humanitarian aid for 30 years up until that point. And that's all for this week, Haw Hawks. Hey Hawks, I'm Michael. And I'm Lucy. And this is your sports segment. Last Saturday was opening day for Napoma Little League Baseball. For the juniors division, the Mets and Red Sox played. Mets won 17-2. Friday Night Lights is back tomorrow night at 6 at the Juniors Field, and the two teams that we are playing are the Marlins and the Mets. Now we are going to talk about Mesa Wrestling. Let's hear from Maddie and Adam. Who are we here with? Maddie. Adam. Okay, what made you want to try out for wrestling? I thought it was fun when we did it during PE. Yeah, I just, I just been doing it my whole life, so like I just kind of had to. What's your favorite thing about wrestling? I like watching the other wrestlers during the matches and stuff. I just like, you know, making friends, just keep being cool with people. What are you most excited for this season? 
Just going to the tournaments and watching everybody else. Yeah, just going to like the tournaments and all the duels. How long have you been wrestling for? I barely started wrestling last year. Like 11, 12 years. What's your favorite move? Mm, I like to do cradle. Same. What was your favorite from what was your favorite tournament from last season and why? I like the last one, the little championship, because I don't know, that was fun. Same thing as her, but she copied me. <laughs> and what app do you use the most on your phone? Mm, TikTok. Okay, thank you. Thank you for coming. Hope you guys have a great season. There were soccer games canceled yesterday due to heavy rain. Today there is a home game against Los Osos. Make sure to be there to support your fellow Hawks. Let's talk about last week's soccer scores. Both teams played Templeton last Wednesday. The boys team came out with a win 3-2. to two. Girls team unfortunately lost 0-5. to five. Now for boys volleyball. Last week before both of the bo volleyball team, boys volleyball teams played at Paul the, the eighth grade team ended up winning three sets. They lost the first set 20 to 25. They won the second set 20 to 25 to 10, and they finally won the third set 15 to 13. The seventh grade team lost with a set of scores of 21 to 25. Last Tuesday, the eighth grade team played Judkins with a loss in two sets. The scores were 15 to 25 and 23 to 25. The seventh grade the seventh grade team also played Judkins and lost in two sets, scores of 10 and 25 and 5 and 25. Though losses, but you'll get them next time. Once again, great job to all of our teams. Bye, Bye Hawks. Hawks. Have a great weekend. Welcome back, Hawks. This is uh, um, our new segment for the Hawkeye. It is called just one word. We don't have, really have a name for it. All right, so today's word is color nominated by, by Camila in the pop culture segment. So what's your favorite What's your favorite color? Uh, I like blue. What's yours? Purple. Okay, what's your least favorite color? Uh, my least favorite color? Pink. All right. It's overrated. My least favorite color is orange. It's ugly. All orange? Right. Yes. Okay, m most overrated. Most overrated color? Green. Actually, no. Green's kind of cool. Yellow. Yeah, I'm going to say yellow, too. All right, that's it. Have a good week. That was good. All right. Quote of the day is, no matter how hard life gets, you can make it better. You started it. Okay. Start. Hi Hawks, it's Camila and Tossie and today we're going to talk about overrated celebrities. So in your opinion, how do you feel about Bella Hadid? Overrated or underrated? I think she's way too overrated because there's better models out there that deserve like a higher pay than she does because I feel like she just doesn't do enough runway shows in my opinion. That's just me though. Yeah, I don't really have an opinion on her, so. How do you feel? Is Hailey Bieber underrated or overrated? I think she is overrated because like people that are on her side i just don't agree with them because she was not right to diss on selena because selena's just better mm -hmm. i feel like she's just like she gets off mean girl energy and i don't like it because she's like what has she done that's so famous like why she's so famous for what yeah and in honor of women's history month our woman of the week is selena gomez she's an american singer actress and businesswoman who also owns um, Rare Beauty and began her acting career on a television called Barney and Friends and as a teenager rose to perform in many well done Disney Channel roles like Alex Russo in w Wizards of Waverly Place. And that's all for this week Hawks. Bye! Introduce yourself. I'm Mr. Fastlaben. I teach 8th grade U.S. History. How long have you been teaching for? This is my 15th year at Mesa Middle School. What's your favorite part about teaching? That's a good question. Um, I like history. I like teaching my content. Um, and the students are pretty cool too. Have you taught any other subjects? Uh, yeah, I've taught language arts, um, I've taught 7th grade history, um, and some intervention stuff. What was your favorite year to teach? Every year, of course. 
Okay, thank you. What's your favorite thing about Mr. Fastlaven's class? Um, he's funny. What's your favorite thing about Mr. Fastlaven's class? He makes everything easy to understand, and he's just a super cool guy. What's your favorite thing about Mr. Fastlaven's class? Um, I like how like nice he is, and he's funny, and uh, he gives me free stuff. Yeah. Today we have a new segment called Things That Don't Make Sense with Annalisa. How do you feel about traffic? Does okay. it make sense? Traffic doesn't make sense at all. Like, at all whatsoever. Like, traffic, like, if there's no car crash, then there should be no traffic at all. But I feel like it makes sense because what are the stoplights? Like, what if they stop working or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, but like. What if, like, a man's crossing the road and he's taking too long? So, like, well, they're stop honking at him. Hurry up. But, like, what if, like, they, like, they're about to run over a kid? And like, but like, okay, traffic makes sense if there's like a car crash, but if there's no car crash at all, th there's no, there's no, there should be no traffic, like at all. I know, but like, what if like something's holding back the traffic? I mean, I think it's that traffic. Malia, get over here. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Malia. Oh, lovely. <laughs> okay, um, so. I think that traffic <laughs> <laughs> makes sense because there's so many factors. There's so many cars on the freeway and like, there's like, I don't know. If somebody's driving slow, that's going to back up things. If like, I don't know. It just, it just makes sense well, if you if really some, think about it. Well, if somebody's driving slow, you honk your horn or you tell them to go no, faster. You're not supposed to honk your horn if... If oh, you no, if somebody is going dr you're, you're dr driving, come on, dude. It's stupid, come on. but it makes sense. Like yeah. traffic is just stupid in general. Come on, Caleb, you can be like. Okay. It is. So, Everyone thinks it's stupid. No, but it's not stupid because if this is, is like if people aren't going to drive, no, if, if people aren't going to driving, that's going to contribute to factors. Exactly. If, if one person so honk your horn at them, so okay, you can't. You can't honk your horn. You can't honk your horn if the person's dead. Honk your horn. That's like. If, if someone gets in a car crash, they're most likely not gonna honk their horn. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 stop. Alright? Stop. You need to get in the brain. I gotta sit like down with you. Yeah. What?